Hello everyone, beautiful people, beautiful souls. Um, I am back again with um, the very, very late kit number six, the traveler's kit. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in because um, time is kind of moving along as it should, um, as it does, I should say. Um, also, I just got out some racks, a few of those, and I'm working on a... Um, rather eclectic but big valentine's um day kit or stash packs right so stay tuned for those because those are going to be a lot of fun um and i'm hoping i can't say when i will have them but i'm hoping before um the new year um if not it'll be after that but i think i might do it guys i think i'm not sure almost there i might get it done um before uh, January 1. So stay tuned for that. It's probably, um, I'm hoping, you know, maybe like the 31st, which is not that I'm saying the 31st as if it's like weeks in, away <laughs> and it's not, but the good news is, is I've sort of compiled them as I've gone along and worked on other things. So that makes it a lot easier and, and somewhat faster for me. Um, the part that's going to be a little bit trying is getting them all filmed, but, um, I'm going to do it. So anyway, just stay tuned for those because those are going to be so much fun. And, you know, they're kind of, I've got the traditional pinks and reds, but I've also got some blue and purple and green, um, and a variety of book covers for you to work with, um, if you decide to, to create it as a kit and or or use the whole collection as a kit i doubt it um which is why i think these are more like stash packs than they are actual kits um because you know i don't put a video with mine i i just think the videos that people make with their uh, journaling kits are the best ever um because that way you can actually see how to put things together and stuff mine is just fly by night a pile of yumminess um to add to your stashes, you know, just your stash pack. Um, but th they are themed and I do include a book cover with them. So, um, anyway, uh, let's see. This is mostly paper guys. The only thing, this is a traveler, a traveling kit. Um, and it's vintage. It's, um, a little bit modern, not very much. Uh, most of it is vintage. And this is the only little goodies doodads that I put in here is some floss for you to sew your signatures in and some rope um, and old vintage braid that was originally for hat band. Um, and this is in a royal, not a royal blue, a dark, dark midnight blue. Um, and then that's got some browns in it. Um, and then you've got two of these floss pieces to sew in. Your signatures are right onto your pages. I put some keys in there, a little a ring, um, a coin, um, a button, a couple of buttons. One has, whoops, sorry. One has a little thing on it. I don't know why my phone's doing the lighting thing. Anyway, um, and then there's a pen nib in there. And there is a brad and a teeny itty bitty key and some paper clips. So those are the only goodies. I kept the doodads at a minimum. Um, this time for this traveler's kit and focus a lot on paper okay so there's that and let's see for paper um, I put a bunch of goodness in here and again you know my uh, stash packs my journal junk journal kits are very eclectic guys so they're not they're just kind of if you're looking for new pretty neat stuff um, you can probably work with this, I guess, but my stuff is, it's vintage. It's, um, you know, found pieces, things that I've found over the years and have collected over the years. Um, and so, you know, it's just, it's eclectic. It's just a lot of, um, goodness that you can work with. So I put this big, large piece of, um, paper in here. This is a, um, Norman Rockwell piece and I love this image as it looks like one of these guys are you know they're this is a boy scout perhaps this is a navy guy and they're trying to figure things out they've got a telescope there and this is the guy um, that you want showing you and teaching you right <laughs> I love that um, there's the back and I'm sorry for the glare um, 
somebody asked again, and I addressed this, but while I'm showing you these images, I'll just say it again. Uh, someone asked if um, I crease my papers or are they folded when I wrap them in. Again, the answer is no. I usually will take the big, large, sturdier papers and fold them like that. So they're folded, but they're not creased. Okay, so I hope that... Um, addresses that that question because it came up a couple times here's a december calendar um this is not terribly old what year is this there's a buffalo on the back this has got some handwriting on it it's from an estate sale um i don't know what year this is guys but anyway it's a pretty large uh, piece love the way ladies are using calendar pages and have been using calendar pages in their um, in their books, um, those are fun. Those are a lot of fun. Even in the Flowish books, I, I love the way they do that as well. There's another large calendar piece of a map. And I don't know why my phone is, I don't want it on autofocus. I hope you guys can see that okay. It's doing something weird. Okay. There's that, and there's the back, there's some more worlds. And these papers are card stocky. Um, hang on one second, guys. Okay, um, so those are, yeah, card stocky pieces. And this is about railroads. And I thought that was quite appropriate for a travel kit. And that's that good old vintage, but really good quality paper. You can hear the sound of it there, some more travel images there. Those are really big pieces. I put in a couple of map pages. Um, these are large. Now, these might make good little bags like this, um, little map bag. These are really cute. And so you can easily, you know, I think I saw April recently make some bags, uh, Christmas bags, and they were so cool. Um, so you could do the same. And I'll link that video where she does that here. So you can probably use because remember guys i'm not a crafter i don't make journals i don't make junk journals um i don't make anything really i can distress some tags and sew in a couple of little um you know mini books like this um i can do that right but as far as like actually sitting down and, and making um journals i just don't have the um skill to do that and I you know I love buying my journals that makes me so happy but I also love supplying um, for journal makers so I've always been a junk journal supplier that's my thing that's what I started out doing that's what I'm still doing and that's what I'm gonna be doing so I can link some videos you know from time to time of some cool artists or you can find your own most of you do or most of you know how to already do this stuff you know put it together and use it um, because otherwise you wouldn't um, be looking for supplies if you weren't able to create your own journals <laughs> right so but from time to time I think I'm gonna start linking some videos I say all that blah 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 because I think it's cool to see what other people do and again this big paper is you know it's not card stocky it's like you know flimsy paper but it would make some great 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 uh bags like those ones that april made on her video um i think her paper though was a bit more heavier um but these would also be great for this paper is also good for um filler you know to fill in but you know and something else i was going to say oh and tags as well okay here's a big piece of um uh, ledger paper is what you call that so that's got some writing on it. That's a really big paper. It's just as big as those map pages. Here's some pattern paper. And that's of Yosemite National Park in Sequoia. And I was lucky enough to find a big stack of pattern um, paper. Um, I don't know, somewhere I was out looking around like I'm always doing, scavenging around. And so, yeah, that's where I get my pattern paper from. There's a vintage image of a bug. Love that. And these, I think, come from uh, Old Life magazine. It's 
It's an old Oldsmobile. And here is some more here. I put a lot of images of vintage cars in here um, because some of these were, you know, you could easily use some of the other images around it uh, as well to embellish your pages. Love this. If I had my way, boy, I'd have one of these. <laughs> and it'd be a standard. There's an old Cadillac. I shouldn't say that too loud. My Subaru might not like that because it's a standard. <laughs> um let's see okay there's a cadillac there's some motorcycles those are all vintage papers and they've got color you know they're not all just um old looking um they've got some color to them i put this dude in here because you know he's traveling via horse and there's some other old images there and lots and lots of vintage 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 is predominantly my thing um, there's some Color USA uh, travel um, vacationing space there. Let's see, what else do I got? There's the other side to that, and of course it's a Seagram 7 ad, but I love it. And there's some fun ads there. Traveling on a scooter. <laughs> Music paper. Pattern paper with some boats and cars and um, airplanes. Oh my god, the cruise ship. I'm not going to even start with one of my students talking about cruise ships. Cruise ships. Oh boy. Anyway, okay, there's um, a map there. There's some palm trees there. And this is pattern paper or scrapbook paper. I really don't know what the difference is. And she's traveling there to Paris, or she's already in Paris, with some pretty um, decorations, um, motifs around her. And this is from an old book about Paris. And I put this in here because some of the images are um, really, really fascinating in terms of vintage, in terms of breaking up anything modern. Um, say, for example, if you didn't want to do um, a more modern um, pay, a, a more modern style book, you could easily do um, a vintage one or a colorful one. I love that. And these guys are pedaling down a rapid river. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that. So I try to include everything um, mobile, how we get around. There's some clocks, watches there. And I put that in there just because of time. Um, and again, to add a little bit of color. And there's two guys on their bikes. And these are all from old, 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 love this car too. Um, the Range Ro Land Rovers, those are really nice. That's my dream car. Um... The thing about it is, guys, is, um, what was I saying? I put a lot of uh, vintage images in there, too, but they certainly could be, again, um, to break up anything modern that you have. This comes from the estate sale, and I'm not going to even try and mess around with unfolding this. Um, it's a big, old vintage map, and it's got some really cool now the only thing about this map guys is that it has um it has uh, folds in it like creases and those creases have been there for a while i'll just leave it in there but you can see you can take it out there and i'm leaving it in this acetate packaging that's how it came that's how i got it um and it's it's a huge piece and it's vintage that's a true travel map this i absolutely love this image in fact i love that one and this one and one of these days i have so many ideas of kit themes or stash pack uh, themes that i'd like to do one is about female and i think now is a really good time um to you know celebrate a woman celebrate men and women you know what i mean but i think to kind of take a step back and kind of look at things women have done historically this image reminded me of that um this lady here i think her name was joan hughes and she flew this 
big mammoth of a plane um, delivered it. She was a, I think she was a fairy, I want to say a fairy pilot, right? And she was, um, oh my gosh, if I can remember, I think she worked for like the Britain's um, Air Transport Auxiliary or something like that. But I love this because there she is. This plane just towers over her and makes her look like minuscule, itty bitty, tiny. But she flew that sucker. Isn't that cool? I think that's her name, Joan Hughes, if I remember correctly. And then there's, um, I think this is, um, oh dear, um, who is this lady? This is another one, but this is a painting, right? And they, these come out of the Amelia um, Earhart um, era books, you know, the, the lady that, that, you know, flew everywhere. And then here's another map, and I kind of exaggerate it with the vintage maps. Um, because you can never have enough of them. This one has been used and loved. And it is, um, it was someone's beloved map. And it's got all sorts of creases and crinkles. It's noisy and loud. A true, true, true used travel map. Like literally. Um, this is a map page from one of my old books. And this one is intact, so you can just fold that right into your book. And let's see, what else did I put in here? There's ways ways to get around there. That comes from an old uh, Roba catalog. And these are a calendar, uh, 85 calendars from that estate sale. And these I picked up because I thought they would be good in a traveler's um, kit. There's another one there with some palm trees. That makes me nostalgia for the Cayman Islands again. I would love to go back to the Caymans. Posted up there for two weeks, and boy, I didn't want to come home. <laughs> um, let's see. This is some handwriting with a little train drawing here. Um, that's from the estate sale, and that actually um, has a lot of little doodling pieces pictures on it and I like this handwriting um, because I know some of you actually like original handwriting in your journals and so I thought that was appropriate um, why did I put this in here let me look at it with you oh I guess it was yeah enjoy two weeks in England Scotland and Wales and my phone's not going to show that properly because it's acting weird I don't have time for this. Okay. And there's some more travel magazine pages, vintage. Lots of vintage in this. So if you're not a vintage person or you don't do vintage, um, yeah, I don't know what to say because that's what my whole shop and uh, Etsy store is about and my uh, junk journaling kits are about. Mostly vintage. Although I have to admit, Traffic Jam, I love this music page. Um, my uh, Valentine's kits, they're going to be mixed. Mostly vintage, um, but they'll be mixed. And I put this in here because look. <laughs> Can you see that? The dog is sort of um, railroad tracking it with the engineer. And there, why did I put this in here? Pack up and move south. Um, <laughs> that's really cool. I love these old vintage pieces like that, guys. I, I just do. And I think they're so worth preserving. Here's a New River uh, train music paper on the back. And go into Boston. This is a beautiful image there. And it's got some um, original handwriting on the back. I think it's saying something about this guy, Bob, uh, wants somebody to find their white knight in shining armor and to take you uh, maidens far away to his far off castles where you might live happily ever after could I wish you more question mark <laughs> that's pretty cool um, that would be cute in a princess um, journaling kit but it's the original is going in this kit this is more cars and train cars here um, I did put some children's images there and there's one of those original U.S. Air Force photos, uh, Lockheed V6, 140 Jet Star. 
that's a way to get around and travel um let's see what else do i've got what do i have in here oh boy let's see guys i have to kind of maneuver this around a little bit okay and there's a railroad car i mean a railroad track by the way because some people <laughs> could put would put that on the front cover of a journal um i'm telling you i've seen it all <laughs> Um, and you guys make it all. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, this is New Zealand Temple. And I think um, I just stuck that in there. Los Angeles Temple. Because I thought that was really cool. Some children's school writing paper. And some vintage cars. Um, this says, there's nothing like a new car for enchantment. And they're in the forest. Um, sometimes I break these up. But I, I like that. The way that's uh, printed out on there. And there's a dude there sewing dreams. That's Charles Lindbergh preparing to go to Paris. And I hope you can see that. Sorry for the glare. My husband's work. He's been busy working and me too, guys, with trying to get my uh, Valentine stuff together. So we haven't worked on my um, space where I won't have this glare. Um, there's another uh, pilot there. And some children's um, plane and travel images. Trip. Father is going on a trip to another city. And there's some music paper. That's a ferry boat. People from the Shenandoah Valley followed a network of river routes to the west. And then here are some images here from very thick cart stocky. Uh, vintage books and you can hear how thick that paper is and there's a beautiful map there of Chile Ecuador and here's a couple more and there's a map there thick card stocky with yellow browning aging um, so you can you know Lots of maps to play with. Lots of paper in this one. Music paper, the railroad cars are coming. Um, blow the man down. I'm not sure why I put that in there. Uh, probably because of that. Even though I think they're from two separate books. Or maybe not. Um, but I love that image there. Erie Canal. Down the Ohio. Oh, Shenandoah. Okay, I'm not going to start. I don't have time for that. Down the Ohio. The other one said, the other back uh, page says Shenandoah. Is that what that says? It does say that, yeah. Shenandoah, yeah. Um, there's some more of that card stocky paper. And you're on vacation time. And America. With some, now that's different music paper from a different book. And there's one of the vintage, ooh, I love that. The Belvedere, honey. <laughs> Love, love, love the Valiant old cars. Love them, love them, love them. Um, there's a pretty lady there that's looking sort of 60-ish, um, 70-ish, taking some Kodak pictures. There's a lot, uh, pink map there of China and oh, Thailand, North Vietnam. And here is one of my paper dolls. And this little lady is headed on a trip as well. She's got her valise, two of them, and this little boy, I love this image. Look at his shoes, and he's he's decked out. He is super dapper and ready to go somewhere. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, there's Greece and some book pages that say England in 18... 1685. I don't have my glasses on, guys. That's why sometimes there it is right there. Takes me a minute to get my eyes to focus. That's a 1905 book. And those are just book pages for fun. Gypsy Man. Because the gypsies obviously traveled. Rarely do you see anything relative to a gypsy man, right? Um, there's some Caribbean cruise stuff. Or Norwegian, I'm sorry. Um, there's some planes there. 
if you collage, if you're looking up pages for your TNs, just to add a little bit of imagery. And there's some old vintage uh, tapestry, Fleur tapestry. And there's a Hawaii book, but it's there's no pages in it. So you can use that as a cover if you want to. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. Uh, one of my best friends lives, she teaches at the University of Hawaii. Um, she teaches creative writing and um, she's, oh, she's loving it there. She just got a tenure on tenure track, so she'll be there for a long time. She's full time professor there, which is awesome. Um, there's more images there. And these guys, these pages came from the estate sale. So these people, you know, they traveled a lot. There was a lot of postcards um, in their collection. Um, so, yeah. And this is just some images from, there's Pocahontas. People travel to go see her. The Princess Pocahontas. And here's a book cover there with some maps on it. Oh, these are notes to myself to be sure to put images, certain images in there. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool and card stocky. I put this uh, recipe in there because of the Hawaiian banana nut bread. <laughs> Just for fun. Some music paper in a different size and style and type. And more music paper. Um, dictionary paper. And images of... Inside um, the Cardinal Richelieu bed, I guess that's what you call it, Casa de Del Monte. And let's see, there's some map pages there with some state birds. And what state is this? Nevada? Yeah, I think that's Nevada. Card stop, just because. Um, a receipt, People's Bank and Trust, because when you're traveling, you need some money and to keep track of your your funds um another retro image there love the green love the green a postcard las vegas another one travelage <clears throat> um this i love this this came out of one of my old books and uh, i think that was a book about paris or somewhere i can't remember i'm almost certain um yeah, but I love it. I can't remember. I'm not certain on that where. And more children's images of trains. A big postcard that's pretty beat up, but um, it's got the Alamo in there. It's got some stains, but why in the world would we throw something like that away when it could be arted the heck up? Um, airplanes with children's book pages. He's looking awfully dapper and ready to board a train. And let's see, what is this? More little tiny maps. Little tiny page ephemera. Little bitty pages of hats that one might wear on a trip. Um, this is a book cover um, sleeve dust jacket that you could actually um, use as the front cover or you could cut these images out. And there's four of those images there. And this is an interesting um, uh, page because you you could glue things in here. So there's a yellow convertible. This is an old vintage children's book. And I just saved, rescued some of the pages in there. They're kind of, you can see where they've been ripped up a little bit. But some of the in images like that one are worth um, rescuing and salvaging I think the paper's really yellowed and old so it's quite delicate this um, I found in some where did I get this I don't know I think it was from the thrift store um, but it's an old map of um, France I don't remember what the date is on this printed in France published by and for the French government um, I don't know, but I know it's really old, but I thought that was kind of cool. 
to stick in there. And then there's some um, luggage, vintage old luggage. Talk about retro. Um, and those have little tiny Christmas images on them. Um, there's a black Cadillac. Lots and lots and lots of vintage uh, cars in, in these. I think I probably overdid it, but that's okay. It's a stash pack, right? So you can use it for another time if you don't use it, um, if it's too much. There's a tiny little globe that's doodled or sketched on a book page. Good year. Got to have some good tires if you're doing a road trip, right? Life in these United States. Uh, run wild, run free. I don't know why I put that in there. I guess because running is a mobile acti uh, activity. Um, let's see. The mostest. <laughs> Anchorage, the mostest town in the USA. That's interesting. There's some food images on the back of that one. More planes. Okay, let me speed it up here, guys. Old cars. Vintage buggies from um, those Sears and Roebuck book. And there's this page, uh, book page is really old. Um, I have several little pieces of this left, but I just kind of, you know, it, uh, um, separate them out sparingly. There's an old vintage Union Bank uh, card receipt, not bank receipt, card receipt. Remember the old um, metal thing that they would run over your card? I thought that was cool, and I got that from the estate sale. That's some good stuff right there, good vintage stuff. And there's a little um, pocket dictionary. There is a Home Depot card with a little globe on there that I think is beautiful. So there is some modern pieces in here. This is, is gorgeous, too. This came out of the estate, and it's brown, yellowed envelope um, with some train images on. I think this came from the estate sale. I'm almost certain it did. I think. I'm not sure about that. But I like it. Receipts. Oil and gas. Um, I did go ahead and put in some international breakfast <laughs> menu cards because if you're traveling, um, you're not eating your native home food, right? Um, let's see. Things you things you bring, places you'd like to go, things you'd like pictures of, something at the beach, camp stuff seen from the car window, uh, vacation. And that's an old game piece too. That's a Milton and Bradley... 89 card from some game. I don't know what game it is. Just cardstock for fun. Just cuz. And there's an old car there. That's a that's a really thick car. There's uh first night at camp. Postcard of New York City. I love New York City, but I get so overwhelmed. I just couldn't even imagine living there. But it is so, so interesting and so um, cool to travel there. That's really cool. Went. And then here's some checks. The ephemera that I got from the estate sale. And you'll see these a lot. I think I showed you guys the somewhat of a haul on these. Um, so you'll see these throughout my kits coming up. And this is just a piece that I got from our, one of our, um, mailing papers so but I thought it was really cool right so it's got some really cool images uh, Danish breads English trifle that doesn't say truffle it says trifle um, and what else there's some people packing up for the beach and there's some buggies and Western with some American flags and such. And these guys, um, it's I like this picture a lot. This almost reminds me a little bit um, of The Road, the movie, a little bit. And let's see, these guys are traveling. Oh, and while I'm doing this, let me tell you something else. And yes, I'm going to be repetitive. Sometimes I'll mention some of the same artists who um, I can't get out of my head you know for a while I I will still and still stuck on um 
Gina at the rebookery, I was stuck on her for like months. And, you know, finally I moved on, but I still am stuck on her work. Um, but I'm also digging Marcia's work too. She put some um, images like this from uh, Reader's Digest books. And she said that you could use these as writing prompts. And I just thought that was like, wow, that's so cool. What a great idea. Um, and I think that's cool, right? She's got some beautiful books listed in her shop right now that are uh, made out of Reader's Digest books that are great. This is from the Almanac. Um, and there's some correspondence. 1970. Another postcard. Um, I've had these for a while. These didn't come from the estate. And this one did. Yeah, there's Howard again. Mr. McDaniel. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. And then here's some, whoops, some, what is this? This is like an old, um, oh, guys, I can't think of it now. It's like when you travel like souvenir paper. Walk, city, week. And what else did I put in here? A little tiny map there and there's a security envelope from the estate okay um let's see there's one of my own family um receipts and you guys have seen those before and heard me talk about those this is a receipt written out to my great grandfather and my great grandma and there is some ribbon a uh, bias tape i stuck in there in gray because when I think of traveling, I think of it as being happy, but it's so hard to pinpoint a specific color. And I don't have time to think like that. <laughs> There's a Marine's hymn. And not a Marine's hymn, it's the Marine's hymn. So that's the hymn that Marines sing, and that's on a postcard. Um, this is really cool. This is Westgate Motel, but look at the cars, and that's definitely a retro a 1950s car there, if you can see those. Those are some old dudes right there. Definitely retro. Vintage. Interstate 44. <laughs> and then there's another means to travel. Taking a boat. And there's one of the vintage um, cards I got from the estate sale. And that's um, yellowed around the edges there. And that's got Lincoln on it. Um, let's see. Moving. Whoops. This is really cool. Um, I put this in here because I thought maybe you could do a fold out of this. Because it keeps going and going and going. And this is an old change of address um, card booklet. Farewell Address is the title of that page, and that comes out of some book that I have. I have, yeah, the old book pages. Um, there's one of the red, white, and blue envelopes via airmail par, uh, par avion, and there's a vintage envelope there. And again, um, if you, you know, if you don't like vintage, guys, you can, you can mix this up with some modern stuff, I think. Um, I think vintage is just, it's the rage right now but you can do whatever you want it's easier to find modern stuff okay this is a cute little pocket made out of a map i love it and in that and i'm not going to go through all of this because it will take me forever there is um there are some cards vintage index uh rolodex cards i don't remember how many i put in there traveling <laughs> Star Trek cards, Paris, um, some, well, not necessarily idyllic scene, but more of a, uh, I don't know, floral, pretty, I don't know, it's somewhere I've never seen. Um, more cards and buildings, Deep Ellum, these are contemporary game pieces, West End travel agent, worldwide hotels, a stamp, 
more stamps. Um, Spain. Green light. Red light. Um, tires and cars. Spare tire. Railroad time, uh, items. Vintage. Vintage. I mean, uh, contemporary. Zoos. Six Flags, New York. Um, these French cards. City. To leave. To let. To leave. I should take one of these out. I'm just going to put to leave. Take that out. Try not to double up on this stuff. Um, delay. To, re to re-enter. To return home. Foreign. Stranger. Foreigner. Stranger. Um, city, far, these little tiny cards, there's a little bus, there's another one of the little cards, and that one says town, city, my dog's going to start barking because he wants to come in, um, there's that, there's a delta card, express clothing tag, sailboat, if you pass go collect two hundred dollars take a trip to reading railroad I said I wasn't gonna go through all this but here I am doing it okay and then here's some little snippets I'm just gonna put pop these down into here day trip uh, miles river of the river home hour uh, by train there's one of those old stamps, airplanes, ticket to ride, a cutout of an old uh, stamp from the estate sale. Hopefully you guys can see that. He's going to get really ticked off here in a minute and his barking is going to get really, really, really um, impatient. East. There's a cart there. More sailboats. Taxis. A ticket. The Alamo. The Panama Canal. Simonian Islands. Battle of the Philippine Sea. Stock market crash. <laughs> uh, more of the playing cards. Um, gas. My great aunt's ephemera. That's a receipt from her um, American Express Paradise um, ephemera vintage. I think I put one of those in there already. Um, Hyatt Regency Resort in San Antonio. And there's a little ticket in there. And it's got, this is not terribly old, but somebody saved it. It goes right in there i think that comes from the estate too or one of them i can't keep up um there's some quarter tubes and an airplane and finally a ticket with uh, from a vintage book that has some of the old airlines i think some of these airlines don't even exist anymore okay that's the traveler's kit guys lots and lots and lots of paper um and i had a hard time struggling to find a book for this kit I, there's several I could have picked from, um, but I picked this one because of the train wow. image um, and this uh, lighthouse here. So, and you know, the weather conditions, um, locks and keys. Um, so yeah, um, it is still intact. It's a bit beat up, but um, I know some ladies who could work magic with this kind of thing. Um, it's It's amazing. <laughs> Um, so there you have it. Okay. Bye guys. I'll be back with more goodness. Thank you for watching my channel. Hit subscribe. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Um, and be sure to mention that you stayed to the end. Um, so that way I'll know, uh, to keep going with these long bleep videos because <laughs> you know i have to go through this stuff i just can't fly through it uh, really fast um but yeah this kit is probably going to list in my etsy store today uh which is december the what is today the 27th 
I don't know, guys. I don't know what day it is, actually. I don't. I swear to God, I don't know if it's the 27th or the 28th. I don't know. But anyway, it'll be on my Etsy store um, soon. And um, there's still um, a textile kit on there. I changed that to free shipping. The price is still the same, but shipping is free. Um, and I still have the space kit on there. Um, and that one is, it is what it is. Um, the price won't change and neither will the shipping on that one. Um, unless it's, it's still there like a month from now or something. Okay. So thank you guys, um, for coming by my channel and thank you for watching. And, um, I'll be back with more goodness and stay tuned. See ya. Adios. Sale pues. Orale pues.